from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Now, the positive side of the last few days is that the weather's feeling nice, a little closer to normal, nice mornings, warm afternoons. The flip side is, as you know, no rain to be found. We are bone dry. Drought's getting worse. More and more burn bans popping up. We continue to update this because usually, especially on like Mondays and Tuesdays, we get a lot of the county commissioners that update their burn bans or reissue them. So this map may continue to get updated over the next 24 hours, but quite a few counties now in eastern Oklahoma under burn bans. And I'll continue to emphasize if you are currently in a county that's not under a burn ban, I would really be cautious with outdoor burning because really we've got no help coming anytime soon. This tells the story over the last 120 days, basically going back to around the beginning of the summer or the end of May through now. Uh, we are anywhere from six to near 12 inches of rain below normal uh, compared to where we should be over that stretch. So it's no surprise why the drought is so bad. Basically any breezy day over the next several days and warm day especially is going to be elevated high fire danger. We're basically going to keep that going daily until it rains at this point. So that's why you really got to be cautious. You know we're talking 30 35 mile an hour wind days but even a you know a 20 mile an hour breeze if you're not paying attention with those burns can really get out of control pretty quickly with how much of a tender box it is at this point. So we really want you to be careful with that. Good. All the negative aside, it is yet another beautiful day, isn't it? Looking from gathering place, sunshine, just a few passing clouds. Uh, we're in the low 80s, a southeast breeze. But once again, there's the problem number there. The low dew points makes it feel great outside, but relative humidity of 20% is not where we need to be from a fire danger standpoint. Low to mid 80s around the area right now. If you're stepping outside, most of us a couple degrees ahead of yesterday's trends. That pushes us into the upper 80s, maybe near 90 in some spots by the end of the day. If you're west and south of Tulsa, McAllister, Wilberton, Bristow, Pawnee, Stillwater, uh, even up towards Pahuska, you may briefly hit the 90 degree mark today. So a little on the toasty side of things, but you know, we certainly <laughs> have been hotter recently, right? Tomorrow morning, we're back in the 50s in most spots. Some valley locations a little cooler, so another nice morning. Tomorrow afternoon, about the same story. It's going to be a little cooler to the north of Tulsa tomorrow as a second boundary, secondary boundary kind of nudges its way back in. And that will make a little bit more uh, noticeable difference for us on Thursday, jumping ahead to Thursday here. Highs, upper 70s to low 80s. And of course, that coincides very nicely with the first day of the Tulsa State Fair on Thursday. A high of 80 here in Tulsa really could not paint it a lot better than that. From a weather standpoint, it is going to be outstanding standing conditions to kick off the fair and really the next few days through the fair look great. Of course, back to Hurricane Ian, uh, it is a beast of a storm on satellite. And as I mentioned, unfortunately, really not weakening much as it moved over western Cuba. Currently a category three storm forecast to reach category four strength tonight into tomorrow morning. And as we've mentioned, here's one of the big problems. As it approaches southwest Florida, it slows way down. So look where it is, you know, even tomorrow morning, just off the coast of Florida. But then through uh, Thursday morning, it's still very slow progress as it tracks towards towards Tampa. Of course, with a system this strong, little wobbles in the track make a big difference. The most recent guidance has the center of the storm coming in just south of Tampa, which would make a difference from a storm surge standpoint and may push more of that towards, say, Sarasota, Cape Corral. But we're talking six to nine foot storm surge potential. That's devastating storm surge uh, there, a potential across southwest Florida. And then on top of that, you know, there could be 10, 15 inches of rain and a more prolonged period of tropical storm or hurricane force wind gusts. So, it, you know, it's really still not a good scenario from Tampa down to the south into southwest Florida. So we'll continue to keep very close eye on the uh, latest updates on that. All right, back here at R7A. As you know, no real change here. Upper 80s today, mid to upper 80s tomorrow. Uh, round 80 Thursday, just gorgeous to kick off the fair. And it looks like we're going to keep the uh, great weather going through the weekend. No rain in sight, but some nice outdoor days continue.